Mr. Poe must have made a horrible mistake when he took us here. There's no way that our parents would want us in Count Olaf's care, if we can even call it that. As soon as Count Olaf's back is turned, we need to leave this house. I'd rather take my chances on the street than stay here any longer. But who knows what would happen to us on the streets? At least we have a roof over our heads. I wish my parents' money could be used now, instead of when you come of age. Ugh. <laughs> then we could buy a castle and live in it with armed guards patrolling outside to keep Count Olaf and his troop. With a large inventing studio. <laughs> and a library. Mrs. Strauss said that her home was open to us any time. She said her legal library was always open to us. It's not the same thing. Mr. Poe did say that we could contact him if we had any questions. We don't have any questions. We have complaints. I should have known. I know the rumours, Hannah. You can't know the rumours. You hear the rumours, but you can't know them. We were friends. How could you betray me like that? Like what? What did I do? Is it you and Alex now? No, how could you even? Of course not, he likes you and you like him. I'm the one that's left out of the group. Yeah, that peed you off, didn't it? A little, I mean, it made me sad. Why didn't you just tell me that you and Alex were together? Maybe I was afraid of something like this. Something like what? Jess, you know this doesn't mean anything. Don't act innocent. I am innocent. I didn't. I had nothing to do with this. Alex did this all on his own. He just broke up with me on his own. I know he broke up with you. I'll just say this. Enjoy it. Cause you will, won't you? Because that's what slugs do. Fudge you. Rah! Not in the mood. Come on. You can't give a little scream. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> My parents are making me stay at home tonight. Seriously? When are they going to stop treating you like a toddler? I'm 16. So am I. This will be such a fun Halloween party. You'll be missing out. I really want to go, but, but when my parents say no, I have to listen to them. That's so lame. You can't just sneak out. Can't do that. I would be in so much trouble. Or say you're coming to mind to chill. That could work, but I'd best head to a class. See you later. Yeah, bye. Look. We can leave our coats over there. I want to get rid of this. I'm so sorry. That's okay. It's nice, isn't it? It's beautiful. Where does it come from? Oh, South Ken somewhere. This is... Well, it's good for this sort of concert, isn't it? Thank you. We should go shopping together one day, if you want. That would be nice, but South Ken, so beaucoup trop cher pour moi. Sorry? I just said it was too expensive for me. No, you didn't. You said something completely different. I just, well, I said it in French. In French? Why? I don't know. Anyway, it's too expensive for me too. We don't have to worry about that. If you want something in South Ken, get David to go with you. Why on earth would he want to take me shopping? Yeah. Look at me! Who are they from? Gosh, him. Who's him? Just a chap I met. A chap who sends flowers? So yes. he's a man chap. Yes, he is. Really? What's going on here? Check. I'm afraid, I'm afraid Jenny has been sent some flowers by a chap. A chap? A chap? What, what kind of chap? Who? Why? He's wishing me good luck for tonight. Are you sure that's all he's wishing for? Where does he get the money from? He earns it, I expect. What do you mean he earns it? Why isn't he at school? What does he do? Can we just go? Otherwise the bunch of good luck flowers will actually be responsible for me actually missing a concert, which would be ironic. N'est-ce pas? Well, I don't like it. I've checked and noted. No. Noted. Ten, ten's bob worth of luck, I reckon. That's all a lot for a schoolgirl. You, you can't leave them out anywhere. Anyway, I'd burgle a house that, that had flowers outside. They think we're made of money. Particularly odd today. Who is it? Shh. Hey, Maeve. Help! Wait, Maeve Riley is calling you. No, no. Why aren't you excited? Put it down. Care to explain? I did something stupid. Maeve asked me to set up this sex therapy thing to help students with their problems for money, and I agreed. And I'm thinking I 
sh shouldn't have, because I'm, I'm all confused and, and hot. She wants you to be a sex therapist. Yes. But you haven't done anything with a girl. You're a virgin. I know. And I'm 16 years old. And I feel clammy. I'm all dizzy and hot. Okay, okay. Take a chill pill. So, think about it. This could be awesome. You, a sex therapist. Listen. Knowledge is power. Power is status. And status means popular. You can be popular. I don't want to be popular. I just want to be a guy in a corner that no one knows, you know? And they say, who's that guy? And they say, that's just the guy in the corner. Wait, you want to be in a corner? Yes. Otis, are you really saying you don't want to hang out with Maeve Riley? She's not popular. She is scary. She's better than popular because she's cool.